Hi, I'm Niharika, a developer relations engineer at Android. And I'm Diego, a product manager also in Android. Today, we will be talking about how to reduce the reliance on passwords by adding passkey support for Android apps. Let's get started. Authentication provides a secure way for users to access personalized, high-end experiences they love. They want to see what's the latest from their friends and family on social apps and post updates from their accounts. They want to order from their favorite restaurants without needing to enter their address and payment method every time. To support these and many other experiences, apps provide accounts to users who authenticate to get their content. But there are challenges. Passwords are not always secure or seamless. They can be fished or leak in a server breach. Users often forget their passwords or reuse them on apps and sites. Because of those security challenges, many services require a second factor of authentication, further increasing friction along the authentication journey. In addition, signing methods have proliferated. It's no longer only about passwords, but it's possible to sign in with federated authentication, like signing with Google, email links, one-time passcodes, and so on. And users carry the burden of remembering, did I sign in with a password, signing with an OTP? Authentication can also be complicated for developers. There are many options for handling the signing methods that users like, and developers don't know about any consolidated solutions. The result is a need to support multiple integrations and APIs, increasing the effort required to set up and maintain user journeys. To address these issues, on Android, passkeys will be the preferred signing method moving forward. And we will roll out a new unified API called Credential Manager to bring together support for passkeys with traditional authentication methods. Let's learn more about these changes, starting with passkeys. So what are passkeys? Passkeys are a new form of passwordless authentication built on industry standards. They are based on public cryptography and offer a significantly simpler and safer replacement to passwords and other fishable authentication methods. How do they work? When creating a passkey, the user's device generates a private public key pair. The public key is sent to the server, while the user's device keeps the private key. Then, when the user wants to sign in again, the private key is used to prove to the server that the user has it. All the user needs to do is use their device's screen lock, like fingerprint or face unlock. The user's chosen password manager, such as Google Password Manager, keeps passkeys synchronized across the user's Android devices, so even if the user loses their phone, they won't lose their credentials. Passkeys make the signing experience simpler, enabling a seamless flow where the user just focuses on selecting the right account without needing to remember a username or passwords, copy-paste a one-time code from SMS, or tap on a link in their email inbox. Passkeys leverage familiar patterns, like a biometric check or a screen unlock, and provide multi-factor authentication in a single tap, allowing for quicker signing experiences for users and increased signing rates for developers. Passkeys also make signing more secure and offer phishing-resistant protection by design. As the signing is only authorized, if the user requests it on an authorized app or site. Also, the private key is never sent to the app server, making passkeys less prone to breaches. And the best part? Passkeys give users access to their apps wherever they want. This is possible because passkeys are based on the FIDO standard and are supported by major platforms and browsers. To support passkeys on Android, we are rolling out a new API called Credential Manager. Credential Manager brings together passkeys and traditional signing methods, such as passwords and federated sign-in, into a consolidated interface for the user and a unified API for developers. 
This has several benefits. Users will enjoy seeing all their credentials in one place. Passkeys, passwords, and federated credentials, such as signing with Google, without needing to tap on three different places. We know too many choices when logging in can get confusing for users. That's why Credential Manager makes the logging experience simpler by consolidating the signing methods for each account and surfacing only the safest and simplest authentication method. So if a user has a password and a passkey for a single account, they won't need to decide between them when signing in. Rather, the system will propose using the passkey, the safest and simplest option. That way, users can focus on choosing the right account they want to use instead of the underlying technology. On devices running Android 13 or lower, passkeys and passwords are saved and retrieved from Google Password Manager. That way, if a user loses their Android device, they can restore their passkeys on another Android device by signing in with their Google account. On devices with Android 14 or higher, Credential Manager will support multiple password managers at the same time. We are excited to announce that several leading password managers and credential providers, such as 1Password, Dashlane, Keeper, and Okta, will be available when Android 14 launches. And we expect many more to be available shortly afterwards. For developers, Credential Manager supports multiple signing mechanisms within a single API. It brings support for passkeys on Android apps, enabling the transition to a passwordless future. And at the same time, it also supports passwords and federated signing, like signing with Google, simplifying integration requirements and ongoing maintenance. Credential Manager is already available to integrate with on existing devices and will fully launch with Android 14. Passkeys are the future of online authentication. They are more secure and convenient than passwords. That's why many developers like Kayak, Amazon, and PayPal, among others, are already working to support passkeys on their Android apps. Let's take a look at how Kayak implemented passkeys using Credential Manager on Android. Kayak searches hundreds of travel sites to show travelers the information they need to find the right flights, hotels, rental cars, and vacation packages. To improve their authentication journeys, Kayak is rolling out passkey support on their Android app using Credential Manager. Matthias Keller, chief scientist and SVP, told us that passkeys make creating an account lighting fast by removing the need for password creation or navigating to a separate app to get a link or code. Let's see this experience in action. On an Android device, I go to the Kayak app and create an account. After typing my email, I'm prompted to create a passkey for the new account in two simple steps. Confirm that I want to create a passkey and authenticate with biometrics. The passkey is created and stored to Google Password Manager. And with that, the account to use Kayak is created. Very easy. If I then sign out, I can easily sign in again using that passkey. I just need to confirm the account I want to use and authenticate using biometrics. This passkey is also available in Chrome on Android. So if I go to kayak.com, I can use the passkey to sign in. I just need to tap on the username field select the passkey in the autofill suggestion, complete a biometric check, and I'm in. Passkeys created on an Android device can also be used to sign in on other platforms. On desktop, I go to kayak.com, select Sign In, tap on the username field, select Use a passkey from a different device, and pick my device. Then, on my pixel, I authorize the sign in. Once I do that, I'm signing on my desktop too. Over to you, Niharika.
Now let's talk about the API integration on the developer side and see how to create pass keys for existing users. Let's start on how to register credentials using Credential Manager. The first step to enable support for pass keys for your Android app is to associate your app and the website. To do so, host a digital assets link JSON file on your website and add a link to the JSON asset link file to your app's manifest. This demonstrates that you own both the website and the app. To learn more about digital assets link, check out the links in the description. To register pass keys for existing users, the user needs to be signed in on your app. They will do that using traditional authentication methods such as passwords or federated identity. A good time to ask users to create a pass key is just after they sign in, asking if they want to enable a simpler method for the next time they access your app. The same can be done when they are signing out. To create a passkey, there are three elements required. First, a backend server that can handle Fido authentication flows. There are many libraries that can help with this. Second, an Android app that implements the Credential Manager API. And third, the user needs a password manager that supports passkey, such as Google Password Manager. Once the process is started, the user's device sends a signal to the backend to retrieve the required information. This is the information returned from the backend. Several fields to pay close attention to are challenge is a server generated random string to prevent replay attacks. Public key credential params is a list of allowed algorithms and key types. And you see here a key named resident key. This is required to generate a passkey instead of traditional non-syncable Fido2 credential. Check out the link in the description for more about each field. Based on that information, the app calls the create credential method. This is what the create credential call looks like. At this stage, a bottom sheet is shown to the user asking them to create a passkey and this call is a suspend function. Once the request is successful, you get the result and you can let the user know that the passkey was successfully created. The generated passkey is saved in the user's preferred password manager and the public key credential information is returned to the app as a credential object. The public key credential object contains several important properties such as attestation object, which is a string that embeds a relying party, ID, flags, a public key, among other values. ID helps determine whether a matching passkey is already stored on the device during authentication. Check out the link in the description for more about each field. Finally, the registration is completed by linking the public key and credential ID to the account and saving it in the backend. This information is verified on the backend and only then the process is complete. This is how the end-to-end -end process is presented to the user. The user is prompted to create a passkey. They authenticate through biometrics and the passkey is created. Quite convenient, isn't it? Now, since the user has created the passkey, they can use it to authenticate every time they sign into your app. Similar to register user credentials flow, we have the same components during authentication. First, we get information from the backend. This is the info returned to the app. To prevent replay attacks, generate a new challenge every sign-in attempt and disregard it after a certain duration or after a sign-in attempt fails to validate. The RPID, which is the relying party identifier, must match exactly the RPID that the password manager specified during registration. Then call get credentials with this information and your app doesn't need to prompt the user to perform this step. This is what the call takes in as parameters. You can retrieve all the pass keys and passwords that are associated with the user's account. Pass these options to build the sign-in request, which is cred request. As soon as the request is successful, the user is prompted to authenticate with the pass keys or passwords that are associated with their account. 
the prompt appears as a bottom sheet. Once the user selects the passkey and authenticate, the credential, including the signature, is returned to the app. The public key credential object contains additional properties such as the following. Authenticated data which embeds information such as RPID. Signature is the core of the credential and needs to be verified on the server using the previously stored public key. User handle represents the user ID given during registration. Check out the documentation in the description to learn more. To complete the authentication, the app sends these credentials to the backend, which verifies the signature using the stored public key. That's it. This is what your sign-in flow looks like. The user taps on sign-in. They are prompted to use the saved passkey and they choose the passkey. After the user performs these steps, the sign-in process is complete. To facilitate the integration, Firebase Authentication and Google Cloud Identity Platform are bringing passkey support to developers soon. Developers will be able to provide a modern and secure out-of-the-box authentication solution for apps they are building. Major mobile and web platforms will be supported. So if you are interested in trying out this passkey support, you can express interest to the Firebase Developer Relations team via the link in the description. To help developers implement the Credential Manager API, we curated a list of resources, including Android's official documentation, a sample code base, and also a code lab with step-by-step -step instructions. And that's it. Our aim is to simplify the way developers interact with Android and help users seamlessly and securely access their accounts across Android apps and websites. We are committed to bringing features and tools that help you, the Android developer community, build more secure apps. Summarizing what we discussed in this session, Creation Manager API is great for both users and developers. It's ready for you to try out. We appreciate your time today. If you want to know more about how you can integrate passkeys on Chrome, check out the web session, Passkeys, a simpler and safer sign-in by Ijai. Link mentioned in the description.